Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to make this um, tutu. Excuse the car driving by, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, today I'm going to show you how to make this, this tutu in a lot quicker way. I have a, a different way to make it that's a lot quicker and a lot less stressful and will take you less than a couple hours. So it usually takes me about one to two hours to, to make this tutu. So let's get started. Hey guys. So here, these are the material that we're going to need for this project, for this tutu. So you're going to need a sewing machine. The The one that I'm using right now is Brother, the Brother um, JX2517. Uh, I think this was purchased at Walmart. My friend's letting me borrow it because my other one is broken. I still need to get it fixed. Um, I have a video on how to make the cardboard pieces to easily cut the tool. I'll link that in the description down below or I might put it somewhere here on the screen as well so you can just click on it um, but yes it's uh, this is what I use to, to measure out my tool this is for size 4T, 5T uh, it's gonna make a 9 inch tutu, 9 inch long tutu and this is 18 inches long right here so uh, you're gonna need scissors, a lighter, a ruler this is a crochet uh, material that I get on the roll like on a spool like, like these at Hobby Lobby and I just measure out the amount that I used for that size and I uh, uh, attached it together on the end here. So you're going to need one of those and um, you're also going to need ribbon and tool. But get the tool that's on the spool, not on the bolt. So um, yeah, and the colors I'm using today is light blue, dark purple, light purple, and light pink. So for a specific order. So. Um, yeah, so let's get started. Okay, so now I'm going to cut out all my tool pieces and it depends on how many holes you have. I'm gonna do one color, uh, I'm gonna do a three row two two, so it's gonna be like tool in the bottom, in the middle, and on top, so it's three rows. And then I'm gonna do one per hole, obviously. So I'm gonna count out how many I need for each color on the, from the band that I previously, that I just made. So yeah, let's just go ahead and do that. So now that I have all my tool cut in the colors that I want, I'm going to cut the ribbon now. So each strip of tool is going to need 6 inches of ribbon on one end and then 6 inches of ribbon on the other end. So each piece is going to need two 6 inch pieces of ribbon. So I'm just going to go ahead and start cutting all the ribbon that I'm going to use to make this tutu.
Okay, so it's all cut up. I have all the colors that I'm gonna use. My camera lighting is really, really, really weird, but this is like a really dark purple and that's a light purple and they almost look the same, so. <laughs> but in real life, it does not look like that, so yeah. So let's get sewing. Okay, so the first color I'm gonna be doing is light purple. And this is the shirt that it's gonna go with. The My mannequin is a size 12 to 24 months, so, and the shirt I think is a size 4T. So of course it's a little big. So yeah, um, I'm just gonna be sewing the ribbon onto the tool, but I'm gonna show you how I do it now, which is a lot, it's in a lot faster way to do it. it uh, I do I sew the ribbon on first instead of putting it to the oh, where is it instead of putting it on this first and then sewing the ribbon on I sew it on the tool first and then I tie it to this so let's go ahead let me go ahead and show you how I do that so hopefully you guys can see this and hopefully you guys will be able to hear me but my toddler is awake and he's making a lot of noise and I can't get him to be quiet so anyway um, so this is the ribbon and it has like a natural curl to it like this, I don't know if you can see. So what what I do is that I flip it upside down so that it's curling like upwards and I slip it into the machine like this and then the tool is the same way. It has like a natural, a natural curl to it. So you're going to put it in the same way where the curl is going upwards and then you're just going to sew it. Backstitch. And then backstitch again. And then sew a little bit off. Like so go ahead and sew off the, the edge of the ribbon. I'm turn this this way. Okay. And don't take it out, just leave it there. Do and then just keep doing it. Put the next piece of ribbon in and the next tool and then go ahead and sew a little bit off the edge and you're just going to keep doing that until you're finished with all your pieces. I'm just doing one end, and then as soon as we're done with this end, we're going to sew the ribbon onto the other end of the tool. Okay, so I finished um, one side of the tool. Now I'm going to take all these off and then sew the ribbon on the other end. So I have like a little blade here on the side. You can use scissors if you choose, but I have a blade here on the side which is what I use to cut um, my thread. So what I do is I just go down and I just cut each piece, separate each piece from each other and lay them off to the side. Okay, so I got all my pieces separated and we're just going to do the same thing. Oh, excuse me. Let me sit down. I'm just going to put the ribbon under here and then get it on your pieces and sew it on. Okay, and then again, once you're finished with all the pieces, go ahead and separate them by using either scissors or the blade on the side of your sewing machine. 
to separate all the pieces. Okay, and then once you're done, you can either go ahead and tie it onto the, to the waistband, or you can just do the rest of the colors. I'm just going to go ahead and do the, the rest of the colors, which I have three other colors to do, and then I'll show you how I tie it on to the waistband. Okay, so I don't know if you can tell, but if you can see, don't touch baby, how it's, the ribbon is naturally curling. So what you're going to do is you're just going to hold it like this, so that it's still naturally curling. On both ends, you're going to fold it in half, line up the ribbons to make sure they're even, uh, grab this end right here, and you're going to slip it into the crochet band. It's just the same as making like a regular, uh, the regular tutu, and then the, the ribbon should naturally curl there at the end, so let me show that again. And then I'll show you up close how I put it into the, the crochet band. And just slip it through. And then one more time. So what you're doing is sorry, my son is a wild, crazy animal. And there you go, and that's. There. Let me show you up close how I tie it onto the crochet band. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how it goes into the crochet band because some people don't know. So what I do is that this one, there's a hole right here on the, on the bottom. I'll just slip it in. Oops, hopefully I didn't mess up the camera. Okay. And you're just going to do the same thing in the hole right above it. Oh, hopefully I didn't move that. Okay. So right above it, you see this square right here. It's right, there's a hole right above where I tied this one, and there's a hole right above that. So you're going to slip it into the hole up there, slip it through the hole down here, and then Oh, I keep hitting the camera. Sorry, guys. And then let me just do the last one on the top. So on the top, there's a hole. You can see that right above where my finger's poking through right here. So you're just gonna go over the top like this, and you're gonna slip it through that hole right there, and then tie it up. And th this crochet band that I'm using, it comes on the rolls at Hobby Lobby. So, yeah. So that's basically how I've been tying it on. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do the rest of the tutu.
Okay, so here's the final product. Um, I usually go back and I fix some of these to make them curl so that they're all rounded. So, yeah. So that's just a, a, it's a lot quicker way to make this tutu. I know, um, I know sometimes it can be very frustrating because you just want to make it, but it takes forever. So, yeah, let me just show you the, it's super full. This one's the size, I think 5T, I think I said. So yeah, my mannequin is a little small for it, but, you know, I need to get a bigger mannequin. So, yeah, that's basically it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and if you have any questions, you can leave them down below, or you can message me on my Facebook fan page, which the link will be in the description. So, I guess I'll see you guys for the next tutorial.